Hey, what's up, y'all? So I was watching this video last night, and I've actually been getting really addicted to watching like these street preacher videos lately. And I seen this video last night, and it just kind of made me feel motivated to um, basically point out something that I see a lot that I feel like it's just really not cool. But anyways, let me just play the video. So, oh, but just give it a little bit of information. This man is, uh, I guess he's like a street preacher, and um, this lady was trying to be disruptive. So let me play it. This is why you don't mess with God's people. What's your name? That's none of your business. I, I mean, we're being cordial here. You here? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're, being we're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice to meet you. Is that you? Just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll pray for you. Okay. We'll pray the Lord save you. Okay. No problem. Well, either either way, either way, your soul. Either way, your soul. Everybody's lunch. They're like, oh, sorry. Yeah, I took the court out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike, my back. Please, okay. please give me my bike, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a, have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me, all right? God bless you. God bless Don't. you. Hey, hey officer. Okay. So you need to let go right now or you're under arrest. Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. We pray for the grace of God for you. Okay, so you've seen that video. So obviously, first and foremost, the lady was an antichrist. Um, and number two, she was trying to be disruptive and she was trying to number three, be disrespectful to God. And that, and that's a no, no, you never try to disrespect God. And you certainly never try to stop somebody from preaching the gospel. So, you know, I think that at the end of the day, she should have been arrested because she was being disruptive. Um, but at the same time, do anybody else notice how, let me just call them modern men, right? Because we hear them, we hear them on, you know, on their podcast and they, they like to call us modern women. So, but do you notice how modern men, they just seem to stay on ready to be aggressive towards modern women? Like, did anybody notice that, that they, he, he immediately became aggressive. Now, I'm not sure if you, if you pointed it out, I'll probably, I'll play it again. I'm gonna play this other video. And I'll play it again, but he, he snatched the microphone cord because she wouldn't give the microphone back. And then he says, well, you're not stronger than me. And it's like, well, we see that you're, that she wasn't stronger than you. So why do you need to say that you're out here? Supposed you're supposed to be spreading the gospel and you're being for, 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 first and foremost, if you're, if you're going to be doing this, then you should be expecting some pushback because you're in a, you're, we're in a world surrounded by a bunch of lost people. So that's going to happen. But I just seen that he was just very aggressive. And I noticed this all the time. Now I'm going to show you this other video of this other preacher, right? Now this man right here, he also preaches like he likes to go to the gay pride festivals and stuff like that. And I'm telling y'all go, <laughs> go and just type in street preaching gay uh gay pride festival it goes down at them gay pride festivals them people are the most violent most belligerent degenerate people that i've ever seen in my entire life um this is this dude's name right here now i feel like it, it ain't even just what i feel these girls were being a thousand times more disrespectful to this man and he didn't act like that now in making this video i just want to make it make uh make it clear that I'm not comparing these two to say that, you know, white men are better and that they're just these good people because in actuality, they, or, or, or that they're these better options that you hear a lot of these pink peel girls, these pink peel preachers speak, you know, because in all, in, in all reality, they're not, uh, because as you can see those cops, right, these cops in this video, they were, shoot my man, why is my thing not scrolling? They were all too they were all too willing to arrest this lady. Um, and, and they're, they're not a better option, especially in how they treat black women. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you can see, let, let me just play the video. I, and I just, I'm just showing this just to highlight the difference in how both men treat their women. And you'll, you'll see he, he, he didn't do anything. He just stood there basically. I hate to be in your heart. You too. Every God loves you. Every yeah. God has, yeah. We are loved. Listen, God loves Humans you. Loved. And God wants you to turn away from that. sin so you can come Do to him. Hate. The Bible says that Stay sin separates us from God, God. Okay. but God has made... Haircut. If anybody else, did you, did you have a question? Haircut. 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 
account right now if 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 this lady had been doing that she would have got dropped she would have got socked in it, it I, I i just i could hear it in his voice and it, I'm, I'm telling you i'm 31 years old and i've been seeing it all my life and the the level of aggression this dude is just, just standing there this these chicks is disrespecting this this man to the highest extent i mean the high and, and let let me not even interrupt Jesus coming on your face. Hey, hey, The and the reason why I said, let me just bring this up because it's fresh in my mind. The reason why I said that these cops arrested this lady. You know, now she was being, she was being, um causing a disturbance so i think she was she should have been arrested but they let's make no mistake they didn't arrest her because they care about upholding the law they arrest her because she's a black woman these chicks is doing all this and as you can see you can see a police there they didn't arrest them so what that shows is that they're a respecter of persons so that's why i say i'm not showing i'm not showing this to say oh white men are just so much better than modern men but what i am trying to to um point out is how they treat their women differently versus modern men these chicks didn't get they didn't get arrested and they should have but they didn't so god loves you yeah they're jumping and bumping into me understood if he had got aggressive and pushed them he could he could have pushed them on the ground he really could have could have been very violent with them but I, he, he didn't say oh i'm i'm stronger than you like what what was that you know what i'm like I don't even, I just wanted to point it out, but. They're bumping into me. On the sidewalk. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, God loves you. He sent Jesus into the world. Jesus is the truth. He loves you. He desires for you to know him. For you to be adopted as his child. He loves you. He cares for you. But God is not okay with not loving you. He gives two Get a haircut. He loves you. He said to love him with all of his heart, soul, all of his strength. Look at that haircut. Look at that haircut. Oh. Oh. Look at that haircut. Cut it, bitch. Jesus wants you to cut your fucking hair. Is my hair that important? No, it is. Because it's is fucking ugly as fuck. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, no, that is the truth. That is the truth. I got better things to talk about than my hair. I can just imagine God loves you so much. Let me do my hair. Why go with the Anyways, uh, TikTok is not going to allow me to, uh, to just to go past 10 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. But, um, yeah, I, anyways, I just, like like I said, I seen the clip the, the other night, and I just wanted to point it out. N I feel like in this situation, both of them acted, acted wrong. I don't feel like he was absolutely innocent. And as you can see, you can see the person who was all for what happened in the clip. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like she was definitely wrong. But I also feel like he could have acted, he could have shown more patience you know, you're, you're supposed to be out there preaching to a bunch of lost people, but you know, you kind of acting just like them, you know, so you got to be careful with that. And you definitely got to make sure you got a, a high level of patience going out there doing street preaching because it, it's nothing but a bunch of nonsense out there. So, you know, I commend anybody who goes out there in this, in, in, in a bunch of, around a bunch of these rude, disrespectful people in this world and actually preach the gospel, you know, um, it's a, it's a commendable thing, you know, but anyways drop a comment you know let me know what your opinion is of it you know let's 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 get a discussion going you know because I, I would i would like to hear um and uh, anyway see you in the next video bye